boxing has come to this. The gap of 88 points in South Africa has come down to three. Yamaha and Ben Spees have done the business and they line up for their 10th pole position. Ben just checks his place, looks across, looks forward. He's got Johnny Ray alongside him. He's got Fabrizio on the front row, as you've just mentioned, has got the start with that launch control on the Ducati. And meanwhile, Harger is right behind Spees and may even challenge him into the first corner. Massimo Merigali can barely watch. Up go the revs. Spees poised. And go the lights away, they go, and it's a good start by the Aprilia for sure. As Biaggi again rockets off the line, but it's Spees that takes the whole shot into Estoril for the first time. Hager's nowhere. Hager's way back in fourth or fifth position at the moment, so he didn't get a very good start. But uh, the thing is, with the, uh, the uh, Biaggi in second position at the moment, he's very, very hard to pass on the brakes. He was at Imola. Let's see what happens here. Here comes Johnny Ray up the inside towards, as they head through golf, flat out, 273 through here, and down towards Adelaide, hard on the anchors again. But it's Spees, number 19, who leads. Very difficult to funnel through this one, but they look like they're all pretty much do. Um, and the conditions have warmed up slightly, but talking to Tom Hasworth and his team, they were very, very confident, laughing and joking in the pits while Ben just sat quietly on his own, just cracking his knuckles as he does. But it wasn't the sign of a man under pressure. It was the sign of a man itching to get out there and do what he knows he can do, and he's doing it right now. Jonathan Ray is trying to go with him, and Hargett needs to get past his old enemy, and of course, Max Biagio had the advantage. Now it's different. A week on here at Magni Corps. Down the hill they come there. Cool conditions here, but it's about to get electric. Oh, and I say that, electric it is. That's... And a nasty, nasty crash. Let's hope he doesn't take pick anybody up. He goes into the middle of the track. Let's hope nobody hits him. He gets off the track. He's OK. Harger's so trying to get the drive down early on the Ducati against... Oh, it's great to see these two Italian manufacturers battling it out. But he can't get past Biaggi, and Biaggi is holding up his title quest. This is not what Nitro needs. OK, he's the confusion... Been, he's got a good, strong lead at the moment, but not enough to relax, for sure. Especially with Biaggi putting in the fastest lap of the race so far. 138.9, last time out. Yeah, I mean, if you have a look, everybody in that leading group has got a contract for next year, so they're not worried about keeping anybody happy. They're just there to win the race. And the big news is Ben Spees, if you haven't heard, will actually race a wild card MotoGP at the last round of Valencia. Last time to the seven tenths quicker, Ben Spees' time than the lap record previously uh, in terms of qualifying, so they really are on it. Yeah, and uh, in the braking area again, look at uh, Biaggi looking up the inside. But Well, in fact, in all of them have caught up with Ben Spees now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Ben got off to a great start, but he certainly doesn't look like he's going to be able to pull away as easy as it might have looked in the morning warm-up. Everybody doing 38s now, and that could be down to the track temperature. Right. Eight months of hard racing have come to this. We started all the way back in March down in Australia, where Ben Spees got a real baptism as fire and was nerfed off the track. Bounce back to win and never stop winning after that. Ten pole positions, 12 race wins, and leading here at Magni Corps and trying to catch that three-point deficit. He started the day, but Johnny Ray's got other ideas. So too has Biaggi, and Hag is far from out of it in four. Talking about closing gaps up, Max Biaggi started to close back up into the back. Spees does a 138.7, no wonder. That's why he's just on the lap record and he's pulled a Ray. second. Where's Johnny Ray? He's disappeared. Well, that's bizarre. Ray has completely gone. That must be a mechanical. No, he's on the gravel. He's rejoined. OK. Yep, so he's back on track, but... Uh... Just saw him flip past, in fact. Wow, what a change of fortunes that is. And the pressure off speeds now for a moment, anyway. And just as a 38-7, and maybe Ray just trying to stay on the same pace as Ben Spees has put him off for a moment, but uh, not a threat anymore. Meanwhile, it's Bianchi. There you go. He stopped at the end of the pit lane. He's talking to his mechanic, most unheard of, in the middle of a race. Yeah, definitely. That's, uh, let's have a look and see what we see. He's gone in here, got it sideways. It's flicked back, and he just couldn't tip it in, so he had to uh, run off there. And uh, we know that he had some brake problems last time out at Imola. Uh, so let's hope that they can get that sorted out. But uh, definitely riding that machine. Right what a shame. To see what how absolute... risky it is to get past, especially that Aprilia under brakes, because it's so good into the corner. And Biaggi, he's got nothing to lose. Look at that. Haga tips in. But uh, Max closes. To me, what was wrong with that was it was half-hearted. 
it didn't look as though he was going to try and make it stick. It was like it was a thought rather than an actual process. Okay. Lifted another notch by the four-cylinder manufacturers, the V4 and, and the new cross-plane crank. Is Norrie, this it? Norrie up the inside again. He's coming alongside. He's flipping it in. And again, not good enough. Now he turns it tight. They'll try and get on equal terms with Biashi down the hill, but he can't do it as they head towards the yeah. But Harger still. As they come through Estoril, winding himself up. Looks good here. Wants the drive out of Estoril. Will tuck himself up. Tighten that corner as best he can. Hits the apex perfectly. Sits it up. Up through the gears. 280k down through golf and up towards Adelaide. Is he close enough to make the class pass? Let's look up the inside. Not this time. Through Adelaide they go. Back on the power and down the hill. The gap still. One second for the lead. This is not what Norrie needs. He wanted to get away yeah, from Biaggi. He's up the inside. Yeah, but he's blown it. Yeah. And that's perfect for Norrie. Damn. Absolutely perfect because it's going to take. Yeah, look, it's all over. A little wheelie from Biaggi says up. Ah, well, you know what? Ah, zero I by speeds. There. Look over the shoulder from Corsa. There, there. There's four in a row. That could. Uh end up anyway but the BMW good in the braking area so should just be able to stay on the back of uh, number 71. Haslam, Checker, Kagiyama of course and that's what you're watching at the moment. Bern Schmertz, Kamiya, Zaus, the top 12. Here we go, back with Harger, second place, there's Spees, there's Harger, this is the championship being played out. It's uh, the longer straight. The only... Oh, big stoppy from Ben. He's got to be careful there. See, that could is, get him in trouble. This and he's is, lost time there because Harger was smoother. This is what I'm talking about. Like, Ben can see that time coming down. Although it's point one every lap, it's uh, it, it starts to play on your mind. Well, they've had dinner together. They've been out together. They've hung out together. But now he's absolutely there. What pressure. What a series. What a year it's been. Oh. Come on, Norrie! This is going to come down to the last lap. Harger has to do another, do another mid-38 if he's going to have to an attack next time out. And the next lap is going to be where he's going to have to do it because it is the last lap. The amazing thing is Ben Spees has used to this pressure and uh, although he's not been fighting for a world championship, you just get the feeling that he's going to be ready for this. He's been planning on this and he knew Norrie would come. 360 for poor old 19. Up the hill towards Imola. Crowd on their feet. Right, Harger can attack into this next one. Will he try at least say that's his next chance? Chateau Doe. He's got to try into least say that is where Harger is fastest, in my opinion, and he can tip it in there. He's got a good drive out of there, flat out round here. He can hold on just a little bit longer and dive up the inside now. Spees is on the ragged edge. He's doing everything to hold off Harger. Harger's got one more chance at the last chicane. Is Spees going to hang on? Yes, he is. And Ben Spees takes the lead of the championship again, and Harger's taking him all the way. What a fight! What a race! Oh. Oh, they cannot believe it. <laughs> yeah, Massimo Marigali. They are, it's bewilderment almost because they knew that their boy was in trouble and Tardozzi, rather disgruntled, goes back to the pit. But we've got one more to go today. Yeah, I mean, uh, Yamaha are going to have to do some work in the, um, in, the, in the time off before race two because if uh, Hager can get on the back of Ben Spees from the start... <laughs> Oh, Mama Spees can <laughs> hardly believe it, but uh, her boy's done it again, and that was top draw yet again.